Hello, 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 and welcome back to FPL with Old Man Phil. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. And also leave a like and help the channel to grow. In FPL, we are trying to beat our highest ever score, which is around 13,000. And by Christmas, we are hoping to be between 200 and 250k in order to achieve that. So let's have a quick look at how we got on in game week 13. Well, we had a very good start on Saturday, but Sunday, unfortunately, things didn't work out, as we'll see. Um, but we did get a total score of 61, and that gave us a game week rank of 870k. The overall score that we have up to the end of game week 13 is 828, and our overall rank is a massive green arrow of about 80,000 to 246,645, much better than I thought was going to happen this week. So on the pitch, Quetta in goal. Uh, blanked Alexander Arnold picked up nine points and Cancello um, unfortunately lost out on six points because of West Ham's last kick of the game goal White got six points for a clean sheet and unfortunately Chelsea's draw with Manchester United meant that James only picked up one point Jota came up with the goods with a couple of goals Salah um, did his six pointer again and Smith Rowe and Rafinha both blanked but did pick up clean sheet uh, points Antonio blanked again and he is becoming a bit of a worry but he was only playing because Kane's game against Burnley was postponed and Tony scored again so that's two weeks in the trot for Tony and he may just have kept himself in for another game week or two total score then of 61 points And there are many transfers that are due to be made in the coming game weeks, but this week we are not planning to make any transfers. We're going to go with Cancelo, Alexander, Arnold and James at the back with Gueto in goal. And Rafinha, Smithrow, Salah and Jota in midfield. Then we'll have a three up front with Antonio, Kane who may be playing his last game and Tony um, up front. On the bench is Livramento, White and Sissoko, and I think that's fairly good bench, given that there might be some rotation going on on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. In the score predictor, we got ourselves off to a fantastic start with an absolutely correct score as Arsenal beat Newcastle 2-0. Crystal Palace and Aston Villa. Aston Villa beat Crystal Palace and I had that score the wrong way round. Liverpool beat Southampton quite comfortably and I had that down as a comfortable win at 3-1 so that was a correct result. And Norwich and Wolves I also forecasted correctly as a draw but not a 0-0 draw. Brighton and Leeds. I thought Brighton would score but they didn't. It turned out to be a 0-0 draw for an incorrect score. A Brentford beat Everton, um, who are really suffering at the moment, and I had that down as a 2-2 draw. Leicester beat Watford 4-2, and it was starting to go wrong on Sunday, as I'd predicted that to be 1-1. And Manchester City beat West Ham and recovered everything for me, as I correctly predicted that score to be 2-1. And Chelsea versus Manchester United. I didn't see United getting a draw, and I predicted that to be 2 0 for an incorrect score. And so that gave me a game week total of 8 and an overall total of 102. My weekly average total is therefore 7.85, and the weekly percentage is 39.2, which means that we are just under the 40% percentage mark which would be a very very good score if you were getting that week in week out and the predictions for game week 14 first up is Newcastle Norwich I think Newcastle will win this by one goal to nil and then Leeds and Crystal Palace I think will fight out a 1-1 draw Southampton I think will beat Leicester at home and I think it will, the score will be 1-0.
Watford should be comfortable opponents for Chelsea, and I'm going to say Watford nil, Chelsea three. And West Ham should overcome Brighton at home, and I'm going to say West Ham two, Brighton nil. Wolves and Burnley, I can't separate these two sides, and I'm going to say Wolves one, Burnley one. Aston Villa against Manchester City. Aston Villa should be beatable by City, and I'm going to say quite comfortably too, and I'm going to say City winning 3-0. Everton and Liverpool. Everton are totally out of form, but it is a derby, and I don't think they'll be steamrolled, so I'm going to say Everton 0, Liverpool 2. And Spurs and Brentford, I think, will end as a 1-1 draw. And also, Manchester United and Arsenal. I can't separate these two sides. United have a mini revival going, and I'm going to say United 1, Arsenal 1. And that's it for this short little video this week. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell and stay updated as we chase our top score of 13k. We will also be back during the week where we'll be looking at who's got the best fixtures and how that might coincide with some of the best form players. So very um, interesting little um, episode coming up. And all that remains to be said now is the team is picked, the scores are predicted, and now it's over to Lady Luck. And good luck to everybody in FPL, and I'll see you all for the results of Game Week 14.